all right guys let's try this again today do another one and see how it goes this is that uh, unknown Chicago Hardy I don't think so but anyway we'll keep an eye on that one walk around and take a little look at what's going on here I'm gonna go right down through the middle Like I said, these were about two and a half, three feet apart. They look a little closer, but because of the rocks. Um, we'll be tight through here when they start getting a little bigger. But it'll keep us busy. Trimming them, tying them up. This one here I had to put a cage over. Weirdest thing, I've never had it happen before, but I had a rabbit over here chewing on it. Let's take a look at her. Yeah, she's starting to come back. I see a little leaf there. Oh, I guess I could show you guys too. Right under, over the tag there. Little leaf. Yeah, let's keep her protected. I got a bunch of baby ones. In They've been coming over here and doing a little nipping here and there. You see, they nipped the top of that one there, too. They're tasting it. And they realize you don't like it. The sap that comes out of a fig probably burns the daylight out of their mouth. Here's a... Japanese plum that I got going on. And knock my rock off. Okay. There we go. I'm going to show you another mulberry tree I'm doing here. It's still in a trainer pot. I left it in there because one didn't have another pot. Two. They all went through some bad weather this year. We're doing pretty good now. These, after two frosts, nailed them bad. Got another one there that's real weak, but it's coming back. That one there is a fresh cutting. It hasn't done anything yet. All right, let's go over here and take a look at some of these. I'm going to have to water over here. Some of these little trees, they don't, uh, they need a little more water than others. There's some more cuttings. Freshly cut here. We're going to give them a little drink. Very low. Let's try it over here. This, you know, I keep it watered pretty good. It uh, the fresh cut or the dug up. You know, all this garden stuff here needs to be watered. They get a little bit when the drip system comes on. I have a little sprayer over here. They don't quite get everything. I like to come around and give them all a good drink. Like that time. Here a little something I'll tell you guys. If you have problems with your birds, give them something to drink. And they'll leave your fruit alone. Well, most of them. Out here in the desert, they don't have water around. They'll attack the fruit without a problem. 
and they'll what they're doing is they're getting a hole dug in it so they can get the moisture out of it and uh in the desert pretty much do what you got to do for water so i just throw i make sure they have water and i don't have a problem with eating my fruit my vegetables but they do hang out and eat the bugs so this is that little garden with got some tags but some of them are the ones that got mixed up But we're going to keep an eye on them. Let's go take a look at that little pinot. These are tomato plants. They're doing nice. These guys are starting to come back. Yeah, here we go. There she is. That's that little one. She's waking up there. Looks like she did. She not. She do. Now, for that compost tea, right here. This is how I make it. I let it sit right there in the sun. It's got water in there, leaves, and steer manure. I prefer chicken manure, but you gotta use what you got. All right, guys, this is gonna be a short one. You have a nice day. And I'll see you on the next one.